bless him today for all that all he is doing, for all that he's going to do. We just give you praise in this place today. Somebody give him a hallelujah praise in this place. Hallelujah! Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your name. Come on. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Because the Bible says when two or three are gathered in his name, he's in the midst. Come on. Just give him praise in this place. Because his grace, but his grace is high in mercy, and his love endureth forever. How many know that his love endureth forever? God, we just thank you. We thank you for 25 years, 25 years on this anniversary. It was nobody but God. Nobody but Jehovah Jireh. Nobody but the great Father, the great I Am, who has been keeping people for Christ. Come on, give God a shout of praise in this place. Glory, we praise your name. Hallelujah. You are highly exalted and we love you. We praise you. Lord, we just thank you right now. Thank you right now for what all you've done, Father God. For breaking us, Father God, from, from, from Laurie Park Zoo to right here to right now, Father God. We just thank you. We thank you for bringing us from the storefront to right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. 25 years when was nobody but God. Nobody but God. Nobody but God. Say nobody but God in this place. Father God, we thank you right now. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, breathing breath of life into us, Father God. Father God, we thank you for bringing us through this week, Father God. We just love you. We thank you, Father God. Father God, touch the sick right now, Father God. Touch Mother Weaver right now. Touch Mother Gardner right now, Father God. Touch our sister, our my aunt in Atlanta, Father God. Touch Sister McQueen right now. Kelly McQueen right now. Touch her right now, Father God. Touch the powers right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, they are healed, oh Lord. And we ask, oh Father God, that you touch now. Touch right now. Touch the head. Anoint the bodies. Anoint the bodies right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch young Isaiah right now, Father God, who just went through surgery right now, Father God. Lift him up, strengthen him right now. Give them power, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let your power just flow right through him right now. Oh Lord, we just love you right now. We just love you. We thank you right now, oh Lord. Father God, rain down in this place. Let your anointing fall down, Father God. Fall afresh right now, Father God. Touch the man of God that's going to bring forth your word right now. To touch your people, Father God. Win his souls right now. That is our mission right now, Father God. Touch him right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we just love on you right now. We thank you for 25 years from the last we we'll thank you right now in, in, in advance for 25 more years right now, Father God. In advance right now because you want to do so much for us, Father God. And we love you. We thank you for the vision that you gave our great apostle right now, Father God. Father God, we just pray, Father God, that we just walk, walk, walk in your light, Father God, in your likeness, Father God, in your humility right now, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. We love you right now. We love you. We love you forevermore, Father God. Because it is you, Father God, who is our fortress, Father God. It is you, Father God, who is a very present help, Father God. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. Because of who you are, I give you all the praise. Because of who you are, I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. He's going to do it in Jesus' name. Do it right now, Father. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for choosing me.
people for Christ Ministries yes. today at your worship yes. place. Yes. Where our mission is to win the souls of the lost and yes. teach the found. Yes. Thank you for tuning in with us right now on Facebook and YouTube. And if you're joining us on those me social media platforms, just put a hand clap of praise, put a hallelujah praise in there. Say that you are here. You are here. You are here. At home, that's okay because I know we have a lot of people that are out that will feel this right now. But by his stripes, we are healed. Yeah. We just yeah. Yeah. We are here at Peace to Ministries, 105 11 Main Street in the North of Sassan, Florida, where Apostle Thomas Hatton III is our pastor. Yeah. We just give God the glory. We give God the glory for what he's doing, for what he's doing. Amen, 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 amen. Come on, come on, just pray. Come on, pray, 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 pray. This is our time of worship. This is our time. When you come into this building, when you come into this place, you ought to come in expecting God to just touch you. You ought to come in with the hallelujah praise in your spirit. I shouldn't have the property. Nobody shouldn't have the property. I know we, we, we get excited. We get excited about Woke me up, he wake me up, he wake me up four o'clock in the morning, and I just say thank you. Yeah. I say thank you. Yeah. Because I couldn't have worked. Yeah. Oh, I know a lot of people that, 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 that just didn't rise up this yeah. morning. Yeah. Yeah. They just didn't rise up. They didn't get up this morning. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful to God for what all he's doing. Grateful. Great is that faithfulness. Great is he that is in you, that is in the world. I just thank you. Thank you. We praise 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 you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just praise you. Hallelujah. Let's see your circle right now. Just praise you. 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 Father God, I love you. Hallelujah. I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you. 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 Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and sing. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. If you know the song, help me sing, help me sing. Because of who you are, because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, because of who you are, I will lift my voice and sing. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. And I'm 
is our God. Our God. Oh, we'll sing it how great. How great. Our God is our God. And oh, we'll sing. Oh, we'll sing how great. How great. How great is our God.
is risen in our lives today. Hallelujah. We got to declare that God is risen in our lives today. Over our children, over our marriages, over our finances. He is rising up a stand. Hallelujah. And we come to declare and decree that he is Lord. Above all things. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Mighty God. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. That's our theme this week. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Whatever we go through this week, we're going to say we serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Yeah, God is for us. So who can be against us? Hallelujah. He is for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, don't stop praising him. Come on, don't stop praising him. Come on and lift him up. Because he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Come on and worship this mighty God. This great God. This God that's from everlasting to everlasting. Somebody need to praise him. He woke you up this morning. He kept you all week long. He put food on your table. A roof over your head. When the medicine wasn't working, the Holy Ghost is working. Y'all need to come on and bless the Lord. At all times. And his praise shall continually be in our mind. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, something is passing over. What's been having you bound down? You are loose right now. Because he set you free. You are saved, delivered, healed, and set free. Open up your mouth and shout with a voice of triumph. Oh yes, it's a turnaround. God is turning some stuff around in your life. And when God do it, he don't do it gradually. He do it suddenly. Tell somebody a sudden anointment is falling right now. In the church, in your home, spiritually, physically, and financially. You ought to come on and just tell him how great he is. Anybody else might leave you, but he'll never leave you. He won't forsake you. Be with you always, even until the end of the age. How great is our God. That name is a bug. All names. That at the name of Jesus, every day, Satan got the bow. Demons got the bow. Sickness got the bow. Poverty got the bow. At that name of Jesus, he's exalted. Highly exalted. And seated right next to the Father on the right hand of God. Glory to God. Glory. Glory, glory. I want to thank you for 25 years of people for Christ's ministry. Amen. Nobody but God. Nobody but God. You involved too, but nobody but God. Because he is the sustainer. He is the keeper. He's the keeper of my soul. He's the keeper. Yes, he is. He know how to keep your boy. Yes, yes. Oh, and I just want to thank him. Yes, yes. And I want to praise him, giving him all honor, all honor, glory to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Great one in three. Highest praise be my lovely wife, co pastor, to our church family, our guests in the house. We just want to give God a praise today. For the mighty things that he has done, I want to share with what he gave me. 
this week. Uh, he's just so wonderful. And, and since this is our 25th church anniversary, I got to go to the day of Pentecost. Right. Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 4. Yes. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. When you find it, let us stand for the reading of his infallible and inerrant word. We pray for our three amigos that's out today, Mother Weaver, Reverend Cynthia and Leonard, that a sudden healing. And on Reverend Powell and Reverend Sonia Powell, a sudden healing. Yes. Carolyn McQueen in Atlanta, sudden healing. And Sister Keisha Spies, a sudden healing today. Mother Gardner today. The old mama today. In the name of Jesus. Because God says, I'm moving suddenly. Oh, you don't know when he's going to come, but all you know when he comes, you know it's him. Amen. 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 When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all but one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as a fire and one set upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. May the Lord add a blessing to the doers of it and hears of his infallible and inerrant word. Amen. I want to talk to you a little while from a subject. This is what he gave me for then, and this is what he's given me for now, for each one of us, because he said what he did 2,000 years ago is still relevant today. All right. And he said, I'm the Lord, and I change not. He said, I work in different stages. I work in different places at different times and we want to talk today about he said get ready for a spiritual explosion oh, my God. That's what he, he said get ready yeah. for a spiritual explosion mm -hmm. why does it he said spiritual explosion because everything started in the spirit yeah. before you had a body you was a spirit they that worship God, St. John 4, 24, worship him in spirit and in truth. So I can't worship him with my mind. I can't worship him with my body. I have to worship him with my spirit. And not only that, but the Holy Spirit lives in the human spirit. So it gives me access to heaven because we are joint heirs with Christ Jesus. Although we have a physical family, but we got a new family. All right. We are in the family of God. Yeah. So on the day of Pentecost, Pentecost, uh, Pentecost means 50. After Jesus' resurrection, 40 days after that, he stood on the Mount of Olives. He blessed his disciples. He was received up in heaven. That was the first time a man ever entered into heaven. He had to enter first because Pentecost also means first fruits or harvest. And that means that by him being received, everyone that he had called to be sons and daughters of God and gave them power, when their time on earth is up, they are received up into heaven too. So Jesus reiterated at the law, at the last supper. Well, first of all, before we get to Pentecost, when we get to glory, 
there will be three feasts that we will keep. We will keep the feast of the Passover. That's the most important other feast of unleavened bread. That's when we do the Lord's Supper. And then the second feast is the feast of Pentecost. And then the third feast will be the feast of tabernacles. We will observe that in the feast of uh, Passover is always celebrated under the Jewish calendar. April is called Nisan. So that's April the 14th. It's always celebrated on April the 14th. The, the Feast of Unleavened Bread is always celebrated on the 15th, which is the next day. So when the Passover happened, when Jesus was getting ready to go to the cross, they celebrated too. The Passover for the Jews. Remember, the Jews keeps the Sabbath, but the Sabbath also keeps the Jews. But we celebrate unleavened bread because that's when Jesus rose from the grave. Mm -hmm. So seven weeks after Passover is the Feast of Pentecost. Seven, you know, that's God's perfect and complete number. So now he's celebrating Pentecost. So it's harvest time. Mm -hmm. And then after that, then the, and that's called under the Jewish calendar, Ayah, which is May. But then when you get to the Feast of Tabernacles, that's called under the Jewish calendar, October, Tishra. Tishra is the culmination, the culmination of the civil and religious year. Normally, that's going to be the season. No man know the year, the time, or the date of his return. But it will be around the Feast of Tabernacle, which is the last feast of the civil or the Jewish year or their culture. And that's usually when God releases the blessing. And the doors he going to open for you for the upcoming year. Right. Somebody need to praise him right now. Because there's some things that he has spoken over your life that haven't came to pass yet, but it's going to come to pass. Because he said, if I said it, shall I not do it? Because he watched over his word to perform it. That's why you got to cling to the word. You got to trust the word as we was talking in the men's ministry last night. Just like you started trusting God, you're going to have to trust him all the way to the end. You're going to have to trust him through no matter what's going on in your life. You just got to trust God. You got to depend on God. God, if you don't do it, it ain't going to get done. I can't do it. You can do what I can't do. You're able to do. Exceeding and abundantly above all. I can think of that. Somebody need to praise him because he put up with me. He put up with you. He keep you. Oh, glory. You got to praise him. You got to praise him. 25 years. Biblically means grace upon grace. Oh, somebody missed a double portion. See, 20 means redemption. But if you add five grace, that's grace on grace. On top of grace. And God told me to tell you what he's going to do for you. You need to go ahead on and remember what was stolen from you. What the devil hindered you from getting. God said redemption is here. I'm going to explode. I'm going to rain on the enemy's parade over your life. You need Shout with a boss of trying. What you lost, you getting ready to get a double portion. God gonna bless you with more than you lost. Y'all better praise him up in here. He's that type of God. Yes, yes, yes. Come on and praise him. See, I need you to shout about what you lost. I need you to shout about what's been blocked. I need you to shout about what's been healed. You still may have a pain in your body, but by his stripes you're healed. Oh, somebody ought to praise him right now. 
You may not have a whole bunch of money, but he's Jehovah Jireh. He's my provider. Oh, you got to give him glory. You got to give him glory. Because if it had not been for the Lord on our side, we would have been swallowed up. And swallowed but 25. Grace. A part of grace. Unmerited favor. Something I didn't deserve. But he keep on blessing us over and over. Wherever I fall short, the Holy Spirit steps in. You can't make it without him. Yeah. So Jesus was reiterating because his men, his disciples said we had left businesses. We have left occupation to follow you and you will leave us. He said, but let me tell you, I told you I'm not going to leave you comfortless. I'm going to send the help of me and the Father is going to send the helper, the Holy Ghost, yes. that's going to dwell in you Amen. and dwell with you, you going to teach you oh, yes. all things. Oh, He's going to teach you the truth yeah. so you don't fall for the okie doke. Because yeah. I am the way, yeah. the truth, yeah. and the life. Yeah. And no man is going to get to God. Ain't no man going to heaven unless they go through Jesus. Right you can't go through religion. No. You can't go through a dead deity right. or a dead God. Every other thing that call himself a God is in got bones in a tomb. Yes. But there's an empty tomb. Yeah. Yeah. Because to be God you got to be alive. Woo. Yeah, How you going to rule something dead? You got to be alive. He's the God of all ages. Hallelujah. He is the rock of ages. Yes. Yes. And he said what he's going to do for you. He was telling his disciples. So I'm not leaving you comfortless. But he can't come. Unless I go. Father ain't going to have both of us dwelling here. One's going to be in heaven with me. I have done my assignment. Yes. Salvation. Set the captives free. Yeah. Giving people eternal life that will accept me. Yeah. So my work is finished. Yeah. And didn't I tell y'all greater works that you shall do than I did? Because hey, he was one person. His ministry was limited to three and a half years. He said, but when the Holy Ghost get in all of us, greater works. So when the Holy Ghost sat on them, as divided tongues of fire, he anointed each one for their assignment. Yeah. Each tongue know who to rest on and to give them the gifts and the talents that they're supposed to operate in. Yeah. There is 22 total gifts of the Holy Spirit. All of us don't have them all, but each one of us operate in one of them. And at certain times, we can operate in most of them. Because of who he is. Lord to God. Lord to God. So until I leave, he can't come. Mm. But when Jesus stepped on the cloud, on the Mount of Olives and was taken up into glory, yes, yes. the Holy Ghost tagged him. Yes, yes. Somebody missed that. Yeah, you got to have a tag partner. If you ever like to watch wrestling, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I just need to get to that corner. I may have to crawl. I may have to stagger. But if I get to that corner, I know my partner did. But see, I got a partner that I ain't got to get to the corner. The partner is in the corner. And all I need for him to do is stand up. And he'll, and he'll do what I can't do. He'll do what you can't do. You got the Holy. Well, let me act, let me just say this, and I'm going to get to my points. 
The reason why you here, the reason why you can praise God because you got God in you praising God. See, you can't praise God if you ain't got God. Because see, God don't wait for nobody. God, the Holy Spirit, testifies of Jesus. Jesus testifies of the Father. How great is our God. Because when he was on earth, he called him Father. Because he had to take the place of a man and say, my God, my God. So to praise him, you got to have God. To stay, you got to have God. When things try to pull you off, you got God. Say, so you ain't going nowhere. Are you on assignment? You got a mandate from God. You supposed to take dominion. Sylvester and other people in here might work for a company. But God said, you go own the company. See, you don't think. See, the difference between with the Jews and the Arabs, because they had the physical blessings of God, they don't think of working for other people. They think of business. They own all of the convenience stores and gas stations in our community. The church, the born again believers, is supposed to own stuff. Yeah. We shouldn't have to go to the bank and tell the bank how can they help us. But the bank need to come to us and say, how can we help you? Oh, wow. Because we are from another brother. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our kinsman redeemer. Yeah. All good and perfect things come down. From the Father of lights. In him there is no bearableness in him. In God. So what he wants is his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And the only way that's going to happen, the Holy Ghost has to fill believers. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. You got to have him. You got to have God. Doing God's business because the Holy Spirit can say one thing, but the flesh can say something else. The Bible says the Spirit is willing, but your flesh is weak. But the more you surrender your will to His will, see, you can be in church for a hundred years and don't grow. If you ain't got the Holy Spirit, if you ain't praying, if you ain't studying your word, you can't. You can't grow. Because this word is a light unto my path. And a lamp unto my feet. The, the word will show you the light. Who was that saying danger? Was that digital underground? Mystical. Mystical. Danger. The Holy Spirit will let you know it's danger. And you got to get off that path. That robot, just like that. That robot on Austin Space. Warning. He get to flapping his arm in Harlem. Warning. It's an enemy there. You need to take heed. Because it's a warning. So the Holy Spirit. It's the one that guides us and keep us into all truth. I'm helping get to these points and we just going to give God some praise. Yes. So what is God going to do? God is going to do something that a human can't do. He's going to save your soul. That's what he's going to do. Because see, remember before Jesus left, he temporarily breathed the Holy Spirit on them. That's why they could forsake you. That's why they could withdraw. He said, but he who is on you is soon going to be in you. Wow. Once he get in you, you are going to be sealed to the day of 
redemption. Hallelujah. You got God living on the inside of you. Somebody ought to give him praise. Hallelujah. He's bigger than diseases. He's bigger than sickness. He's greater than the devil because the Bible says in 1 John 4 and 4, greater is he that is in me than the devil that's in the world. He's no match for God. And if he got to get me, he got to go through the Holy Ghost. He can't get through the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost raised Jesus from the dead. So, so I got to study my word. I got to praise him. I got to witness because God said I'm going to do a spiritual explosion. He says because many churches have turned from being the great commission body of Christ to become a religious country club. He said in some places I can't even get in. That's why he says I knock on the doors of your heart if you let me in. That's why you come to worship God. For the things you went through last week from Sunday up until this point, everybody had some challenges. Yeah. Everybody had an issue. Yeah. But God is able. Yeah. And look at you now. Didn't he keep you? Ain't you here right now? Shouldn't you be praising God? Thanking him against all odds to know the Samson is a place that was heavy in witchcraft mm. and other things. But God sent us out here. Mm. And now it's time My God. for a spiritual explosion. <laughs> yeah, spiritual. Because if you get the spiritual, you get the physical and everything else. Yeah. Because he said in Psalm 68, 19, I know you daily with benefits. You need to start thanking him daily. He gives me benefits. It's a benefit for serving God. It's a benefit for praising and worshiping God. You got to open up your mouth and not sit there with your mouth shut. You got to open up and give him glory. Call him in a shadow. The God of more than enough. Jehovah Rapha, I'm the Lord that healeth. Benefit. Oh, you got the blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh. So after they had to wait 10 days for the promise, it was the same place where they had the Lord's Supper. Peter's house was big enough, it was two stories. That's where they had the Lord's Supper. And that's the same place that they waited for 10 days. For the Holy Ghost to come. Ten biblically means redemption. Something is going to be restored. Something is going to be. Somebody need to open up their mouth and say, that's for me. Something is getting ready to be released. People have been blocking me. People have been trying to stop me. People that's been, that I asked to help wouldn't help. But I got to help. My help is right here. All I got to do is call on that name. That's how you activate the Holy Ghost. You got to call on that name, Jesus. Jesus. He activates with the name Jesus. Jesus activates with the name of God. Jehovah. My provider. Whatever I need, God is able. He can do it. If you ain't got food, didn't, when they didn't have food in the wilderness, he rained down manna. Every day say, eat all you're going to eat. Don't save it because it is full. Then they got tired of eating manna. Don't we get tired? They got tired of eating manna. They wanted meat. He gave them quail till they run down. Of them. They ain't want no more quail. Complain. He said, learn to be content in whatever state you find yourself in. 
So the 120. Now, again, it was feast. Through two to three million Jews was in the city, but wasn't but 120 in the upper room. When we started People for Christ Ministries, April and others know this. We started at Laurie Park Zoo. Ironically, on the picnic shelter 120. Can you see this? 120. It was shelter 120. We took portable mics, barbecue. You remember that? Under the picnic shelter. Here come the police. They say the people across the water say, y'all making too much noise. I say, well, tell them to come on the other side of the water because we ain't stopping. We're going to make a joyful noise. If everybody else can holler and scream and boom the music, I can boom Jesus. I will speak him everywhere I go. So we started there. Then from there, you remember we was out there for a couple of weeks. Then we went to Sulphur Springs Community Center. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to get permission from downtown, but they, the, the person said, the Lord said, help you. We're going to open up for two hours every Sunday. Sometimes they forget to open up. We preach right in the park yep. and go home. Amen. Then we went to a storefront. Mm -hmm. And in six months, he opened the door for us to get here. Amen. To start buying this place is God's doing. Yeah. And then here's the ironic thing. When we put the contract down and put the deposit down, the next day, some people come with major money. Yeah. And the realtor called me saying, Pastor, have you sure you want that church? I said, yeah, why? He said, some people that's got deep pockets yeah. want to pay cash. I said, oh, really? I said, well, it'll have to be needed to people for Christ. I said, they might have deep pockets, but I got a deep God. In 25 years later, Conversation was up front. Wonder why we here, Sylvester. Wonder why we here, Lily. Wonder why we here, Star. Talking about some of everything. But as it got closer to the ten days, see, because the closer you walk with God, the narrower the road. The way it gets narrow. So when it got close. And the Bible says when they got on one call 
expected. Yeah. Expected. You got to be expected. Yeah. One call. One I can't be expected and you hoping. Yeah. Or you wish. Yeah. We got to be on one call. Expecting this spiritual explosion. Yes, we got to be one accord that he didn't bring us this for to leave us. Woo! We got to be on one accord. Praising and worshiping God. Yeah. We got to be on praising. I enjoy praising and worship. The musician that you know we love, he's so far away, he comes when he can. But I got to have a certain sound. I can't have anybody in that. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I got to have a certain sound. A certain anointing yeah. that's flowing, that's loving the Lord. And some people are talented, but they ain't anointed. Yeah. You got to have the anointing. The anointing is what breaks the yoke. The anointing is what you have when your education IQ ain't that great. God has an anointing. He called you to do stuff that you are in of doing. Yeah. I told another day, I'm I-O-B-K incapable incapable of being king. You're the king of kings. Yeah. You're the lord of lords. I'm incapable but the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He's capable. Yeah. He can do what no other power. Yeah. Holy Ghost power yes. can do. God is looking for quality. Yeah. I may not be as talented as you, but I'm willing to surrender yeah. my will to the will of Almighty God. Yeah. Oh, somebody gonna praise him on this one here, Keisha. Amen. You're about to get a public blessing because you went through some private lessons. Yeah. See, somebody. Because you know God will keep a secret. God will keep your business. You ain't sharing with nobody else. So you went through some private lessons. Just you and God. And he said, and since you passed the private lessons, I'm going to give you a public blessing that nobody can say. you got to worship God. Yeah. That's why you got to lift up God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to praise him. You got to praise him. Because yeah. he's the God of all centuries. He's the Alpha yeah. and the Omega. Yeah. The beginning yeah. and the end. Yeah. Somebody's fit to get us. We're going to get a spiritual explosion. Uh -huh. But he told me to tell you this. If the door, if it's if if the door is not open, it's not your door. My God. Trust God and be patient because God got something better. Yeah. He said, "Don't try to force the door. If it don't open, come out the door, and I open it up for you to walk in. Don't force it. It ain't your door." Just trust and be patient. Because I got something better for you. I stop by to tell somebody God is working on something for you right now. That he ain't shared with you yet. You ain't even privileged to it yet. But he's working on it right now. And when it's going to happen, it's going to be suddenly. Because the Holy Ghost, the Greek word is dunamis. 
Your money could be broke. Your children could be broke. Remember, Jesus is a carpenter and he can fix all things. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. Somebody need to go on and praise him. Up in this place. Up in this place. The Holy Ghost is going to shake this place. He's going to shake to know the assassin. Oh, you better praise him. I feel God in this place. I feel his presence in this place. But I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost illuminates right now. He said, I'm doing it. He said, I'm working on it right now. He said, just keep on praising the Lord. Just keep on serving. Just keep on walking by faith. Just keep on lifting him up. That's what he said. Look like a fool for a while. But I'm going to bless you. Oh, yeah. Praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him. He's worthy. He's worthy. I don't know why people that say they're on their way to heaven don't like to come to church. This is where you come to learn about church. And not only that, but church also is made up of believers and unbelievers. See, you need to come to church so you can recognize the devices of the devils because you got them too. My God. My God. My God. But he said, I do the separate. Separate the wheat from the chaff. Don't you do it. Let me do it. But he's making us up for glory. When you see this war going over there now, where, where Iran want to attack Israel, that's Ezekiel 38 39. God can make our Russia and Iran. They mess around with Israel. Now you're fit to invoke God. He's coming. Jesus is coming. He's coming back for his church. Yes, yes. Yes. Third thing is, we're just about there. He shakes you from the familiar so you can't be fruitful. He shakes you. He has to shake some people off of him. He got to shake what's familiar. Because God ain't familiar. He's peculiar. And you are peculiar people. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. That's called out of darkness. Into the marvelous light. Tell somebody I'm walking in the light. As he is in the light. I used to walk in darkness. But my mom. Darkness don't live here anymore. Yeah. This is what he's saying, Kishu. He said you have to sense him while you don't see him. You got to sense him. He's, he's here. He's here. I know he's on that when he said, get ready for a spiritual explosion. He said, you have to walk in obedience without understanding. Without understanding. Mm -hmm. He told me to tell everybody, including me, he will show up when it's time. He will do it when it's time. He will perform it when it is time. He said, I will make the way when it is time. He said, I will answer when it is time. He said, the times and the seasons is not for you to know, but tarry until you do it with power. In other words, some more power is going to hit your house. It's some more power going to explode in you. God is getting ready to expand your territory. God said, I got to do it inside before I can do it outside. So when I put you on that platform, you're going to say, it's the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous. 
in our eyes. You stay with the Lord. You stay with the Lord. He all you got. He's all you need. Oh, we're coming on now. Check this one out. Salvation, what Jesus did, gets us ready for heaven. Salvation gets you ready for heaven. Yes. But the Holy Spirit gets you ready for earth. Oh my God. Yes. 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 You need him to do this work through us in the earth realm. Yes, because you're an ambassador. Mm -hmm. Salvation, you accepted him, you have him by. Mm -hmm. But to do the work that he left on, right. and to do the greater work, you got to have the Holy Ghost yeah. to do it. Yeah. Because classic example is you might faint, but you don't quit. Right. Come on now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might want to give up, but you don't give out. Because yeah. every time you get to that place, yeah. the Holy Ghost do something, don't it? Yeah. He do something to yeah. show you that yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. And then you go to praise God all over again. God, you so good. I'm stupid for thinking that. I'm stupid for going to quit on you. Look at what you just done. And I know you got more to do. Because he got more degrees than a thermometer. Somebody ought to praise him. When he show up, he show out. Yeah. Oh, see. see, that's why you can't look at how nobody else is doing what they're doing. He give you your own individual vision. And God say, I ain't going to do it for you the way I did it for them. Because I don't make no clones. I don't make no duplicates. He said, I give you your own and watch how I do it. When it's time for me to do it, spiritual explosion yeah. he didn't tell me when cause I asked when he said just tell it until you do it with power, power. Yeah. 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 I'm looking for them signs and wonders yeah. and miracles that power of the Holy Ghost I'm looking for the Lord to get up right now yeah. in the name of Jesus mother to get way out right now the power to get up right now cattle yeah. see I'm talking
to disappoint everybody that expected you to fail. God is getting ready to disappoint everybody. That is the people you know and the people you don't know. He's getting ready to disappoint everybody that expected you to fail. Everybody that expected you to go down. You know, in 25 years, somebody expected us to go down. But the more we went down, the more I came up. Because when you decrease, God increase. You are growing, you are, you grow in wisdom, stature, and favor with God. High five your name. Amen. Amen. Yes. See, I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry. That wanted me to go down. Because God is fixing them. Disappointed. Everybody that expected us to fail. Because God never fails. Heaven and earth are passed away. But God. Somebody say, but God. But God. I got something I need him to do, but God. But God. He's going to show up. And he's going to show out. Lord God, Lord God. Keisha, why did it? We need the Holy Spirit. <laughs> he said, because what it takes to get free, that salvation. He said there's a difference for what you need to stay free. Hmm. That's right. Amen. Salvation through Jesus sets you free. <clears throat> but I need something different to stay free. I need the Holy Ghost. Because yeah. see, Jesus gone. You can forget, but he sent you to help him, to live in you, to keep you free. Hallelujah. I'm free. Ain't no chain holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. So the Holy Ghost keep transforming us. The Holy Ghost keep sanctifying us. Yes. He keeps cleansing us. Yes. That's the Holy Ghost's job. Yes. He's the keeper of my soul. Because what will it profit me to gain the whole world and to lose my soul? My soul is anchored in the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm. The Holy Spirit is the male man. Somebody gonna shout on this one. <laughs> and he don't get the male mixed up. <laughs> What's supposed to be delivered to Sylvester ain't coming in my house. What's supposed to be delivered to the Andrew's house ain't coming to my house. The Holy Spirit knows who house to deliver the mail to. So I got news for you. Somebody's fixing to get an overnight. All right. Glory to God. Come on. God said, I ain't going to be no stamp, stamp mail. It's going to be overnight express by the Holy Ghost. He's going to download something in you that's going to bring you increase. He's going to increase more in your faith, your development. He's fixing to show up in your house. Well, he's already in this house, but he's going to go to your individual house. He's going to have a meeting with you. It might be an all Somebody need to open up their mouth and say, Holy Ghost. 
spiritual dimension enlarge their territory. Somebody say, sit on me. Sit on me. Sit on me. What I don't know, teach me what I need to know. Yeah. Teach me. Yes. Glory be Teach me. Yes. Teach me. Yes. When the Holy Ghost fell in that upper room, all the people that was in the street was wondering what kind of noise was going on. They thought they was drunk. And was partying. Yeah, they was partying. They had a Holy Ghost party. And they had some new wine that don't make you drunk in the body, but it makes you drunk in the spirit. It makes you speak with another tongue. <clears throat> it makes you give God all the honor, all the praise, and all of the glory. When the fire fell and filled the disciples and the women was in the upper room too. Let me tell you, God uses women just like he used men. Yeah. Because in Galatians 3.28, it says in the spirit there's neither male nor female. He gets in a woman, he uses a woman. He gets in a man, he uses a man. Yeah. It's the Lord all right. Yeah. Even if somebody mixed up in their walk, if he get in them, he'll change them too. He'll make that crooked path straight. He'll put running in your feet. He'll put clapping in your hand. Joy! I said joy. Out of all the things you've been through, ain't you still got joy? Ain't what you came out the last time. Didn't you still give God the praise? Didn't you say it? Swallowed up, but thanks be unto God. Is the Lord all right? Yes. Ain't you glad? Yes. Tell the mayor, man, yes. I'm in church. Uh -huh. Just show up yes. at my house. Yes. I'll be home soon. Bring me my mail, because I know you got a special delivery Woo! from one heaven boulevard oh, from the mansion of Jesus Christ. Yes. Is the Lord all right? Do it. He said, I've been waiting on you. You've been waiting on me, but I've been waiting on you. Now you're ready to praise me. Now you're ready to do my will. Now you're ready to lift me up. Now I can go ahead on and put it on you right now. So somebody need to praise God for the door that he got for me. Somebody need to praise God for the answer he got for you. Somebody need to praise God. Your children gonna be saved.
Jesus dropped the bomb on Satan over 2,000 years ago on Calvary. Ain't the Lord all right? They nailed his hand. They nailed his feet up. But they lifted him up. That's why you got to lift him up. But if you lift him up, won't he lift you up? Somebody need to bless the Lord at all times. Do you know he died? I said he died. I said he died. Oh, yes. He died. But I. Sunday morning up. He got up. And I'm going to get up. You gonna get up with all power, all power, all power. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for a spiritual explosion. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. I'm glad it's coming to your house, but it's coming to my house too. Don't congratulate your neighbor and say, Nate, I'm glad for you. But he got one for me too. Somebody need to bless him right now. Somebody need to praise him right now. Somebody need to shout for the voice of trial. Shout yes! Shout yes! That's when it's going to show up. Yeah. God is going to do it. Yes. Hallelujah. For you. Baby, going to open the doors of the church. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him in here. Hallelujah. Come on and praise the Lord in this house. Hallelujah. I'm even spending a suddenly blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but the apostle says it's going to be dunamis. Hallelujah. It's going to be dying on my. Hallelujah. I'm talking about an unexpected blessing. Amen. I'm talking about an unexpected miracle. Hallelujah. You ought to come on and shout with the voice of triumph. You ought to lift up your voice and come into the Lord's house with thanksgiving. Come into his house with praise. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In this place today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm excited today. Amen. Because I know that God is doing a new thing. Amen. I know God is doing something unexpected. Amen. I can feel the shift in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Everything that's happened over in Israel is written in the Bible. Hallelujah. How many of you know that the Bible is fulfilling itself? Jesus is on his way back. And he's coming by sooner than you think. Hallelujah. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 For those that may be watching, if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is your great opportunity to accept him as Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. It don't matter where you at. When I got saved, I was not in the building when I got saved. I was in a church or uh, uh, in a house on a Monday night in the fishbowl when the Holy Spirit made a visitation to me and he accepted me and I accepted him as my Lord and Savior. So you can you can accept Jesus right where you are. All you got to do is just begin to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is the son of the living God and that he died and he got up on, with all power in his hand and he said, and you shall be saved. Amen. Maybe there's some
someone that's in this house today, they have not accepted a relationship with Jesus. Jesus said that the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. And I believe right now that he's knocking at the door of someone's heart right now. And Jesus said that the church of the door is, all, is open right now. He's standing with his arms wide open. He said, whosoever will, let them come. So you can come just as you are. I know that when I came to Jesus, I was broken. I was torn down. I was about to lose my mind. But I met a man named Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He picked me up and he turned me all the way around. So I know what Jesus can do for you. Hallelujah. Because he done it for me. Amen. Amen. We want to thank all of our viewers for connecting with us today. We want to thank those who's watching, whether it was Facebook or YouTube. Thank you for allowing People for Christ Ministry to speak into your spirit today. And you know that this word has been a blessing for you. Go ahead and consider giving a donation. Amen. We have it in the screen right before you. We want you to know that this is good ground and God is doing something new. He's doing a new thing. So we ask that you continue to partner with us. Partner with Apostle Haddon. Amen. On Tuesday night, we have our, what we call our table talk at 7 p.m. On Wednesday evening, we have our live Bible study at 7 p.m. at 105.11 Main Street to notice Sassa, Florida. Amen. Amen. And I just want to speak to the ladies right now. If you are in the Tampa Bay area, the surrounding area, won't you come out this Thursday evening at 6.30 p.m. for our women's Bible study? We are going to be talking about some stuff that needs to be talked about. And we want you to come and connect with us. Amen. That is going to be a live service. So you need to be in the house on this coming Thursday evening at 6.30 p.m. And then also, our Women's Conference 2024, our Women's Conference, Women Evolving, amen, been a peculiar people, amen. It's going to be here at People for Christ Ministry on May 10th at 7 p.m. We have Minister Erica Harrison from Northside Missionary Baptist Church that is going to be speaking into your hearing, to your hearts on that Saturday morning at 9 a.m., we have Dr. Terry Parker Rowe, another dynamic speaker that will be here at 9 a.m. So we need you to go ahead and get your tickets now. You can go onto our social media page. There is a QR code that you can use to purchase your ticket. Also, if you're in the house, we have a setup on the back of the table. You can go ahead and do your QR code there to go ahead and get your ticket. And also, let me tell you, we got our PMCM apparel line. So we do have our women's conference shirts uh, that's out there. We need for you to go ahead and purchase your shirt. I would like to see everybody wear their shirt on that Friday and also or that Saturday morning. The shirts is online. You can go ahead and purchase your shirt. You'll get it within seven to ten business days. Go ahead and purchase your shirt. Your shirt. Amen. So we want to again, we just want to thank you and may God bless you and keep you is our prayer.